Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today, uh, Jan and I are out with the cow mob. And you have to forgive me. I'm a little bit hoarse <clears throat> for uh, just getting over the last two days of talking at our grazing school pretty much nonstop. So it's a it's always a workout on your vocal cords. Yeah. Jan, you've got somebody with you there. Yeah, I have Venus the Minas. <laughs> <laughs> she was the one who got to stay home, and so she got to come with us today. What do you say, Venus? You're a good girl. Yeah. yeah. What's your shirt say there? Well, David made us these shirts. That's one, of, that's one of the quotes that I gave him. Things can get pretty tough, but don't lose your faith in grass. There's something on the back, too. Yeah. Yeah, don't base your life on what is. Base your life on what is pretty good quotes yes <clears throat> anyway we're here today uh, on what we call Jan's farm uh, this is the uh, South Pole herd that we're looking at the cows are kind of intrigued oh look at that there's a formation oh yeah the planes up there you see them in the clouds yeah yesterday there was five went over there must be an air show somewhere or maybe they're just doing maneuvers. Maneuvers, yeah. Those are, look like older planes. Yeah. But <clears throat> I wanted to show you, this is one of our grass finished steers. He's getting there. He's a, he's a pretty good specimen. He still needs a little bit more fat on his tail head. <clears throat> but uh, the old saying, you know, you gotta, you gotta take your uh, steers out to get them finished. Let them be your, uh, the ones go first and then your leader those would be your leader herd and then your cows cow calf would be your follower herd and um so i was doing that for quite a few years and my friend from africa ian nailed me on that he goes why are you doing something stupid like that for <laughs> he goes leave them in the herd leave them in the cows the steers you can get them fat you just got to watch the steers, make sure that they get good gut fill. And that's another herd of animals you don't have to deal with. Just leave them in the cows. Cows are so wild. Yeah, aren't you, 580? You're kind of concerned about that, that uh, dog over there. They're not used to having dogs. But the boys moved them onto this paddock this morning, about 8, 7.30, 8 o'clock. And now everything's full. There's a few cows still chewing. But I tell you what, folks, we, we really got bailed out last night. They were saying we were going to get a sixteenth of an inch. We had a storm come in from uh, the north. We don't hardly ever get storms from the north. But this one is kind of north and a little bit west. <clears throat> anyway... We, we didn't get a sixteenth of an inch. We got an inch and a quarter. You know, it's like Christmas when you, as a little kid, you walk down the stairs and look underneath the tree, you see all those Christmas presents. Well, when I saw that rain gauge this morning, I almost jumped. I jumped like a foot in there and just, oh gosh, you know, when you're in a super dry period, especially in the fall, you're getting ready to, uh, possibly grow some winter stock pot if you can get some rain and we got an inch and a quarter last night so wow god is good and, and life is good boy this is a nice bull this is one we're gonna pull um we're gonna get semen on him i'm bringing in three this week three of our macho bulls to have semen collected so you can go to our website greenpasturesfarm.net this is one of our machos. He'll be sold next year after we use him. He is a brute. Man. Just nothing but a chunk of meat. Tell how wild he is. All of our bulls are that way. We don't sell wild animals. Can't do that. Don't want to do that. See how comfortable all the animals are? They're filled up. They're just kind of laying around, soaking up the sun. It's a pretty good life. It's a pretty good life here at Green Pastures Farm if you're a cow. You get to move on to fresh grass twice a day. 
you, know, you, you drive around the country and you see these other animals that never get moved all summer long, like those right over there, those horses. It's like, you know, the pasture's literally a sixteenth of an inch tall. There is no grass. You're like, how do you keep them alive? It's just amazing. The animals are putting on weight. I can see if some of them are starting to put on a little bit of hair. Uh, we do have winter coming at us. You know, here in a couple couple more months, it's going to be down in the probably low, tw you know, mid 20s. Um, we're at September 11th. September 11th. Today's only supposed to be 72 for a high. So I'm looking forward to that. Our grading school is a little bit warm. Uh, we had some fans in the tent and uh, we did a lot of pasture walks. Uh, we stayed outside quite a bit and we did have some shade on most of the pasture walks. So it was a really uh, energizing group of people. Um, a lot of young people. That's exciting seeing young people coming back and interested in you know agriculture and uh yeah this, this is what it's all about folks spending time with your animals on green grass and uh jan and i are going to go around and look at the rest of the uh, rock pads that johnny put in we were so busy the last couple of days we didn't get to see all of them that he put in but we looked at one there at the house this morning that he put in man Johnny, all I can say is you do really good work. Really good work. And the, the grazing school attendees got to see Johnny install one. And uh, that'll be coming up later this week. I actually did a video on that one. And I made Johnny hold off until we got there. And uh, I think it was 28 minutes. He was almost done when we left. 28 minutes. Yeah. Unbelievable. But it's a skill level. I mean, that's all he does is dirt work. And you put him on a skid steer and he's a beast. So anyway, just had to share this with you. This farm, it's got, uh, when we released it, it was all lance leaf ragweed and uh, broom sedge. We've still got some lance leaf in here, but it's getting thinner. And uh, we can grow a ton a ton of uh, good winter stock pile in here. Look at the foam coming off that calf's mouth. Sucking on that cow, that's just milk, milk slobbers. That 4-4, she's nothing real fancy to look at. She just, I'd call her an average cow. But let's look at her calf. Well, that cow does raise a nice heifer calf, wow. Look at the slobbers. <laughs> four dash four. Let's look at your calf, honey. Oh yeah, he's got a nice, nice little bull calf. 255, so that'd be the 50, the 55th calf born this spring. Look at the white on his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I love to see calves suck that are getting milk from grass. In other words, that milk didn't cost us anything other than the grass that the cow ate. Well, there's a nice steer. Oh, he has really put the weight on. Man. It's just amazing. You know, you can go through your cows and then all of a sudden you look at one one day like, man, where'd that one come from? Really put on some weight. Oh, look at this little horn cow, what she's raising. Now, she'd be a three-quarter south pole. Boy, that is a beautiful cow. 228, is that a heifer? I believe it is. Oh, it is. Man, I see that cow was stealing milk. and We put a ring in her nose, and that stopped it. There's no more sucking for her. You can leave that in there about usually 60 days, and that takes care of it. 45 to 60 days. I can definitely tell the fly load is less today. It's cooler out here and it's windy. So we don't have the flies on them like we've had. So really thankful for that. 
really thankful. It was pretty pretty beastly there for, I don't know, three weeks. The flies were just atrocious, and we were trying to outrun them by moving them quicker and had some success with that. But a lot of these folks that don't ever move their cows and the flies just keep repopulating, repopulating, and the cows don't go anywhere. They're just in that one pasture. Man, flies will eat you up that way. Um, there are some cow-calf pairs in here we're going to be selling probably in the next week or so. And those would be the fall calves, like that one right there. Him and his mother, we're going to try and move everything back to uh, spring. And uh, we've got some cow calves that is always, well, they've always calved in the fall. So we're going to try and uh, put some of those up for auction this week on our website, greenpasturesfarm.net. If we get time, if we don't, it'll be the next week. Anyway, everyone have a good one, and uh, hope you all get some moisture this week or the next week or hopefully in the next three weeks so you can grow some grass for this fall. Everyone have a good one, and uh, we'll see you down the road.